This quick video tutorial from ExoCAD walks you through all the available full denture production methods, including the various options and parameters. To start, run the Dental DB application. Select a client, dentist, for this project from the drop down list. Enter the name of the patient or case. Use a comma to separate surname and first name. Select the technician the same way as you selected the client. Note, the technician field is not mandatory. Click on the numbered tooth you want to design. Select full denture as the restoration type. Then choose the desired material based on the manufacturing technology you wish to use, milling or printing. Note, for milling technology, you can choose mill base if you only want to mill the base and use denture stock teeth, mill base and teeth if you want to mill base and teeth, and mill base trim teeth when base will be milled with tooth pockets intersecting the model and the denture stock teeth will be trimmed accordingly to fit on the base. For printing technology, you can choose print base if you only want to print the base and use denture stock teeth, print base and teeth if both the base and the teeth will be printed, and print base mill teeth when you print the base but mill the teeth. Under the options and parameters, you can choose to scan a pre-op model or a bite rim. Note, bite rim scan is not needed for single arch denture and the model analysis will be done on antagonist. You can design with scalable tooth libraries, which can be locked or unlocked during the design. Denture bases with teeth to be milled or printed are set by default to yes, allow scaling from initial placement. And denture materials with stock denture teeth are set by default to no, lock scaling during the design. Additionally, the selection optional, decide later, is available, but not set by default to any specific material. Design a prosthesis with monoblock for try-in. Note, monoblock can only be created for open and semi-closed libraries. You can optimize the monoblock for 3D printing. The optimization for 3D print is always set to no, or decide later during the design, this is because of the lengthy process of optimization. However, it can be activated at any time during the design. Other parameters, such as connector shape and dimensions, can be changed under advanced parameters. Connectors are available for material depending whether teeth will be milled or printed, but not for stock denture teeth. The value of parameter below gingiva design level will determine the distance of the connectors to the gingiva design. And the value of connector behind approximal contact will control the location of the connectors relative to the approximal contacts. Tooth pocket gap is another parameter which can affect the adaptation of denture base to the teeth. Finish the restoration definition by clicking the OK button. Hold shift and click left mouse on the numbered tooth at the opposite end of the arch to copy this restoration type to the entire drawer. Thank you for watching this video.